All right, what's up, Title Nation? We got our board briefing Wednesday, April 14th. Our warm up is going to be one round of the Ninja Flow 12 or sorry, 10 uh, wall slides or floor slides, 20 glute bridges, 10 shoulder shrugs with arms overhead, and then five reps of the spicy flow each side, six scorpions. One round, okay? And then we got some prep work for the workout. We're going to be doing two sets of 20 calf raises. And then we're going to view the dumbbell uh, power clean and jerk. Okay, so we're going to dip, dip shrug, uh, muscle clean, hang power cleans, power cleans, and jerk. And then we'll practice some of the repetitions that we're going to do for the workout. So double unders, penguin jumps, that sort of thing. And then we're going to practice the chainsaw row. And then boom, we're going to get right into the workout. Boulder shoulders. So we're going to do 16 power cleaning jerks, alternating arms. And then we've got eight and eight chainsaw rows, 30 double unders. So we're gonna do that for 16 minute AMRAP, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, so let's just break down some of the movements, okay? So this is a homage to around Christmas time where we did the 12 uh, days of mobility. So this is just a, a snapshot of one of the days here. Um, this one here, this one here is supposed to be done upside down. Right, so we can do it weighted upside right. So what we're looking for is the actual hands overhead, bringing our shoulders back and down, so we're not like shrugging up, okay? And then we're actually just gonna push up on the object, right? So think of like um, a scap retraction. It's almost the same thing, exactly the opposite though, okay? And then, um, yeah, some spicy hip flow, just getting the hips warmed up and going with the flow here and um, doing some mobility and stretching and active stuff all at the same time. Uh, the calf raises, yeah, just getting warmed up for double unders. This one here, if you wanna get crazy with it, you can add some weight, goblet, back rack, right? And just practice calf raises like that. Um, during the, the hang power clean, we're gonna work on a, a practice, um, the transferring of the dumbbell, going outside the feet, going inside the feet, some efficiencies um, just to, to work on that because we are, we are, we have been and are using a dumbbell uh, for a long period of time here. So we'll work on that. And those who are choosing to use a or barbell during the workout, same thing, right? We're gonna work on um, bringing the bar down, touching the ground, touching the reps, all that kind of thing. So lots of time to practice some good stuff in there. Uh, double under practice, single under practice, skipping, penguin jumps, whatever, what have you for uh, whatever we're going to do in the workout. And then the chainsaw row, um, practice that. A lot of um, what muscles should be working, what muscles shouldn't be working um, in the chainsaw row, right? So we'll go over that as well. And then the workout, 16 alternating dumbbell clean jerks. Yeah, we should be able to go unbroken on that, right? Uh, switching arms using efficiencies that we're gonna pick up here. Chainsaw rows, we'll finish eight before we do the other eight. Okay, so if we have limited range of motion and we're not able to do a chainsaw row, uh, a good idea might be a, um, a bent over row with some support on a bench or a chair. And if that doesn't work, we can do dumbbell high pulls, All right? So talk to your coach if you have limitations there. And then the 30 double unders, um, like we've been doing, we have lots of things if you're not skipping, toe taps, penguin jumps, single unders, all kinds of stuff that we can work in there for you, okay? So uh, as far as strategy for the workout, we're gonna go pretty hard here, right? Uh, we're gonna try to get the rounds unbroken as long as we can. So that's sort of a, a, a little key phrase there. So if we're gonna go 16 hang or power clean jerks, uh, eight chainsaw rows on each arm, and then 30 double unders, all unbroken, we have to sort of set a pace where it's not like blistering high, right? Uh, a, break, uh, a pace where we can breathe through all these movements and just keep motoring along, right? So the person next to you or um, your other self is going and they're going hard at it, right? They're gonna have to stop somewhere down the line uh, and take a few breaths and, and recover a little bit. For the person who's just like moving smoothly through this workout, that doesn't have to rest, it's gonna, it's gonna have a better time, all right? So 
Think of it like that, 80% capacity the whole way through. Okay, um, yeah, have fun with it. Uh, hopefully your shoulders survive and let's get after it.